inside and show. The 76ers trail by 11. Thomas is the point with Bradley into his side. Johnson is up there with Jared Sollinger. And it's Crowder in at the three spot. That's the Boston Five. Here's Thomas. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Back to Sollinger. The jump hook. The shot is off. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Smith dishes to Embiid. Embiid with a screen on top. Smith and the 76ers tack on two more. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Now here's Thomas. Down low. Here's Sollinger. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. And it's six points for Jared Sollinger. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Embiid, the pass to Cannon. Embiid kicks to Cannon. Just five to shoot. Free throw line jump shot. And that one hits back iron. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass really badly in that area of the game, and that's helped them take this lead. That's good. No hesitation when he saw the space the D was giving him. That's two. Smith outside. To the left side wing. A floater, and it's blocked. In a real difficult game for him offensively. That's costly. Thomas, it's a wide open look. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Okafer's got his fifth rebound in this one. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Cannon, guarded by Grant. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. At the elbow, Sollinger. Sorry, Thomas. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. The 76ers trail by 12. Smith outside. He feeds it to Embiid. Poked loose. Here's Thomas. Finished off the break. Thomas got 21. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Boston. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Here's Okafor. Another miss by Philadelphia. you got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. What a performance. Just look at the game for Johnson. He's got 10 rebounds and a decent little assist total for him, too. No doubt they'd like to see that carry over to the rest of the team. Get good assist numbers all the way around. Evan Turner, he's checked in for the Celtics. Noel's checked in for the 76ers. Now here is Smith. Passes it to Okafor. Looking to end the run, and he sinks the layup. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Thomas against Smith. Thomas dishes to Sollinger. And the rejection by Noel. And he lobs it up, and Okafor slams it in. Really hard to decide, guys, which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Clark, there's no wrong answer to that one, my friend. <laughs> Sensational alley-oop all the way around. Agreed. And Agreed. guys, you know what? You would know that they're the team that's actually trailing with how they were able to pull that play off. 
And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Isaiah Thomas traded last season from Phoenix over to Boston. Seemed to be a matter of fit and not production as to why they moved him. Greg, you were talking about Isaiah Thomas. He had no love loss for the Suns in their first meeting. He took them apart, Clark, on the floor. Remember that game? Stared them uh, down as he was yeah. hitting shots. Oh, Looked yeah. at that bench. Man, he was. He had, a, he had a big chip on his shoulder. Yeah, and you know, most guys that are a little undersized and have battled doubters all their careers bring that kind of edge anyway. You throw in the fact that he was disappointed how the trade unfolded. He was amped up and ready for that return visit. Here's Okafor. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. Well, some really terrific numbers for Okafor. He's got 17 points. And he's contributed three points from the line, too. And those free throws add up, guys. That is extra offense. The Celtics really seemed to get better as last season wore on, too. G.A. finished the year looking very dangerous. And Kevin, with the Celtics, they were dynamite after the All-Star break and had the second-best record in the Eastern Conference post-All-Star. They get it again. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. Smith, the pass to Okafor. He kicks it to Cannon. Back to Okafor. Noel wide open. He fires. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. You know, one of the big things for the Celtics after the All-Star break was they played smarter. I mean, they went from the middle of the pack in terms of turnovers to a team that rarely made mistakes. The 76ers trail by 11. Now, here is Smith. There's a screen by Noel. Smith drives in, inside. Okafor with no one around. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Yeah, that's a good point about the Celtics and their turnovers. Last year, after the All-Star break, they were fourth in the league in limiting their mistakes. They played well beyond their years down the stretch. Now, here is Smith after the miss from Evan Turner. Smith kicks to Noel. The dish to Covington. Three on the clock. That three off the mark. One made three formed for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. And Thomas, here we go. Goes to the reverse layup and gets it in. Thomas got 12 points in just the second half. I like it. I like it. He broke out the fancy finish there. There's a screen by Noel. Smith dishes to Cannon. Smith the pass to Cannon. Feeds it to Okafor. Sollinger brings the double team. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That one on Turner. Last season, the first season of action for Nerlens Noel, officially a rookie. After sitting out the 2014 season, he looked good, and he got better as the season was going on. A great point. I think that year off really helped him grow as a player. I, he, coming into the draft when he came out, he was a guy who I thought had one of the most unbelievable motors I had ever seen. And you know what? Everything he was hyped up to be, he lived up to on the defensive end. Now a timeout called by Boston. And for Noel, I really think he took off in the back half of the season. Up to scoring, his shooting percentage, and his rebounding. You can see him getting better almost every game. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, guys. Well, Brad Stevens had some advice for the team over that last break. He said to them, the lead we've got now is nice, but I want to make it even nicer. This is when we put the hammer down. It doesn't look like he's ready to back off just yet, guys. Sullinger the screen. Thomas goes in and he gets it to go. Thomas got 14 points now in the second half. And by the end of the season last year, Noel was completely different as a player. Always a defensive force in the league. His development is probably going faster than many expected. Now here's Okafor. Smith kicks to Noel. Four on the shot clock. Fires it up. 
No good off the front eye. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. The shot by Turner, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. There's Cannon with the three. Johnson with the clock. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. The 76ers trail by 14. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Him. And Boston has possession. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Sullinger inside. Noel on him. Check out the game for Sullinger. 11 rebounds and also an assist. And for a long time in the NBA, the stretch four was kind of the anomaly and not the standard. Now it seems that you are the rare power forward if you can't hit a three. Very few traditional power forwards now in the NBA. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. With the stretch four and the need for shooting at the position, they don't need to be a three-point threat, but they do need to be able to hit a mid-range jump shot. Yeah, well said. I think you need to have guys that can make perimeter shots to create spacing. The game's evolving to a space-out-the-floor type game, and shot-making gives you a chance to do that. Now, here is Smith. Offensive rebound. A second left. Good work defensively by Turner. Over to the wing. The shot by Thomas. Here's Sollinger. Smith with the defensive effort. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Here's Covington. Here's Okafor. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. Pass to Brantley. Johnson the screen. Bradley dishes to Johnson. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Well, the plan has been obvious now, Clark, for a while. The 76ers uh, really loading up on young players, letting them see a lot of minutes, and we're hoping it's going to bear some fruit, as you like to say, yeah, coming up. Exactly, and it will in time because they've accumulated some really nice young talent, Kevin. Smith kicks to Okafor. Puts up the baby hook. And it's in off the backboard. Okafor's got 10 points here in the second half. Boston leading by 11. And with the 76ers, it's not just on the floor that they have stifled the progress. That They've taken two top picks knowing they would sit out a full year just to rehab injury. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Now, here's Thomas. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. The shot is off, so Philadelphia will take it the other way. You know, one thing few people talk about with the Sixers, this plan of building through the draft and with young players, what if it actually works to their benefit? Then it would become a copycat strategy because we know in the NBA it's a herd mentality if something works. Just two to shoot. There's Noel again, Philadelphia. A, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Celtic shooting at 42 percent in this final quarter. Smith against Thomas. Can't hit. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. And here's Bradley. They can more or less wrap it up right here. This has to be a very smart possession. Pocket six. He dishes it to Turner. Off the pick. That 
one bounces around and comes back out. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication. Smith with it. Pass to Cannon. Here's the three. The shot is up. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed down the stretch, but they did what they did.